Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will set up this TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender, the N300 or the TLWA855RE. We will set up this via TCP IP or through the web browser and then we will also reset this TP-Link N300 to factory settings. If you are new to my channel, be sure to click like and subscribe, hit the bell notification for more setup videos. Let's begin. Okay, first, the TP Link Wi Fi range extender, um, it is not a router. It is typically used to extend your Wi Fi. For example, if you have a low Wi-Fi signal inside your house, you can use this to connect to your existing Wi-Fi and extend the range of that Wi-Fi. So as per this model, this can expand up to 20 meters without interference. So when you place this one, for example, this is your source router. This is the spot where it has low Wi-Fi reach, you can place the extender in the middle so that this one can reach to the farthest uh, location or the lowest spot in your house without the Wi-Fi or poor Wi-Fi connection. If it is placed inside your house uh, for the first floor or second floor, I, I believe you can put it on the second floor. Okay, now let us set up this Wi-Fi. Now to begin with, uh, First, you have to plug first this TP-Link to an AC socket. This is a 110 to 20. So, uh, if you see this light indicator, you'll see blue and red. It means that this Wi-Fi extender is not yet there. Okay? So, go to your browser. Open your favorite browser and then connect to a Wi-Fi named range extender and then when you connect to that range extender type to your browser the IP address http colon slash slash 192.168.0.254 you will see the menu of the TP link and then you will set a default password for your Wi-Fi extender input your desired password to configure and once you configure, it will ask you to connect to your existing Wi-Fi. Connect to your existing Wi-Fi. Use the current password of your router or your Wi-Fi. Input all. When you completed this process, you can see here, on your Wi-Fi range extender that the blue light indicator is all blue. So meaning this Wi-Fi is already paired to your Wi-Fi router in your house. And you can check on your device, there is a new Wi-Fi with the underscore EXT, meaning it, you, already, you are already successful in connecting this Wi-Fi extender to your current Wi-Fi. And the next thing to do is relocate this one. Now you can relocate this one. Again, from what I discussed earlier, earlier, you can place this in the middle. Okay, this is your current router, Wi-Fi router. This is the weak spot and you can place it in the middle. So that's very easy. Now, once you are having problems with this one, for example, this one keeps, uh, you cannot connect this one. You can easily reset this Wi-Fi router. Just see here the reset button down below. Just press it for a few seconds, uh, one to two seconds. Use a paper clip or any uh, thin and uh, any thin clip that can fit to this hole. Press it and wait for the light indicator to turn red. Meaning this is already 
unpaired and now reset to factory settings. Now the next step is unplug. Wait for a few seconds. Replug it again. And check your Wi-Fi browser if you can see again the TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender, the original factory name. So from here, I can see now that the TP-Link extender has been reset to factory settings. So that's very simple. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification for more setup videos like this. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next time and peace.